Glory be to Jesus. But Abraham, Abraham said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I want us this morning to reflect from the first reading, which we captioned understanding the silence of God. Those moments, it seems, you are not hearing anything. You have prayed, you have fasted, you have booked novena masses, you have gone for adoration, and you have done all the things within your limits. How do you understand those moments? There is a song we normally sing here. Do not lose hope. Jesus loves you in every condition. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Do, Do not, not lose hope. hope. Jesus loves you in every condition. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Do not lose hope, Jesus loves you in every situation. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Do not lose hope, Jesus loves you in every condition. Rejoice and praise the Lord. Yes, there are moments you will find yourself, you remember this song. It is not every situation and it is not in every condition you will see yourself before you start singing this song. The first reading we read, the story about the life of Abraham. Let her turn into Abraham. At a point in his life, he asked God, he said, but Abraham said to God, O Lord my God, what will you give me for I continue childless? You remember God made a promise to who? Abraham. And this promise has continued and Abraham was advancing in age. And he became confused. He asked God, what is what is it that you have promised me? He has lived, that promise was made along up to 25 years and they have been living yet. That promise has never been fulfilled. And he was lamenting, is it the child born of a slave girl that will inherit everything that you will use in establishing this covenant? And God was silent. And it continued until he was told to leave his homeland, homeland and what? Go to another place. He obeyed. And everything he obeyed. And we are told he was counted as a righteous what? Person. He was the father of what? All those who have faith. He was the father of great nation. Yes, all these things he has been told, has been telling him, yet it's not yet manifesting. And sometimes a Christian or a believer can still experience such a thing in his or her life. You have heard many promises, many good things God has said to you. You have dreamt about it. People have told you, you become this, you become that. Yet, you continue to suffer. Yet, you continue seeing yourself going down every day. None of all those things is coming up. Sometimes people may start saying things that are not proper. May start cursing God and saying something that will not bring glory to the name of God. Is it the solution? No, it is not the solution. In such moments, you need to understand what we say, the silence of God. Understanding the silence of God. When God is not saying anything, what are you to do? Are you to start saying your own? Are you to wait to know what he will whisper to you 
in a cool and gentle way. I used to start listening to what people would be telling you because people must what? Talk. At those points, people must talk. They may remind you your sins, the sins of your forefathers, the sins of your wife or your husband or your parents. They must talk or they must start saying, this is what you did. Remember when Jesus healed a man born blind and the people around were saying this, is it the sin of the father or the mother that gave birth to this person that caused him? And Jesus told them, no, it is not. It is to be what? To give glory to the name of what? God. Some situations are like that. Some conditions are like that. In those moments, you need to remind yourself that God is working on you. God is doing something. God is preparing you the way you will receive what he is preparing for you. There are some blessings God would like to give you. He cannot give you anyhow. It is not anyhow. He cannot give you at that point you are. At that situation you find yourself, you can never be able to receive it. You need to undergo some changes. You need to pass through some things. You need to be refined in order to do what? Receive such blessings. So that when God keeps silent, you do not need to worry. You know that bigger things, because when you are receiving bigger things, or when God wants to give you bigger things, he cannot just give it to you that way. Remember the story of Joseph. We are told that Joseph was having a dream, and those dreams he was having is what is going to happen in his future life. But you will see the processes or the stages he underwent in order to do what? To carry out this promise God had for him. First of all, the brothers hated him. From hating him, he was sold. From being sold, he was thrown into prison. From prison to Potiphar's wife and all those things. And at the end of it all, he arrived at becoming the what? The commander. To tell us that those promises, why can't God just catapult him to become a commander. Is it not easy for God to do that? Is it not easy? It is easy for God to do that. But Joseph will not be able to do what? To carry those things. He needs to be refined before he can be able to do what? Achieve those things. Before he can be able to put on that apron and become the commander. So there are some situations in our lives that God is preparing you for bigger things. And if you don't mind how you go about it, you may make mistake, or you may leave, miss that word, miss that promise. That is, it is always good to what to be careful whenever God is what not saying anything about the condition, because as in onye buru onye we can never run faster than what? Our God. It is God leading us and we are doing what? We are following him. And do not think that you can never find such situation. Such situation and those points where God will not be saying anything. Abraham, it happened to Abraham, our father in faith. Abraham was questioning God. Am I to continue childless like this? Somebody that is clocking up to 890. And you are still telling the person you will be the father of the whole nation. And he became confused. And started asking God, how am I to continue childless in this way? Is it my own portion? And God replied to him. And when he was 100 years old, the, fourth, uh, uh, the, what? the wife gave birth. To tell us that those who are working with God, the journey is not what? Always easy. It is not always easy. Another thing we need to learn from the silence of God is that those moments, God may be preparing other things that may surrender, other things that are around you that may prepare you to do what? Get what is keeping to you. You remember the story of Mary and what? Elizabeth. We are told that Elizabeth was what? Barren for donkey years. What happened if Elizabeth has given birth 
to John. And John would have started waiting for Jesus to be do what? To be born before he would do what? Carry out the function of that task. But God in his own way made it that what? At this stage in the life of Elizabeth, Elizabeth is going to become but he's going to be barren so that at the proper time Mary and Elizabeth will meet and the child in their womb will do what? Live for joy. To tell us that he or she who is walking with God, there is no lateness in God's own words time. It was it seems as if it was a late time for Elizabeth. But when he gave birth to John, John, John was so what? Great. Whenever you are working with God, there is no lateness. And when I say better late, I better late, I better give a give a No. Whatever you need to achieve in the process, whether it takes you 20 years or 30 years, you will still do what? Achieve those things. As far as God is involved in that situation. Except God was not involved in that situation. But no matter the years it took you, you must do what? You must meet up. So that when you see others meeting up, you think you are late or your own time is not coming, you need to relax. As far as you are with God, except if in that you are waiting, you are not with God. You are not following what God is teaching you. But if you are following what God is teaching you, you must do what? Meet up. Don't think that your mates or your classmates or the whatever, all those things that they are faster than you, they are this and they are that. My mates are married. My mates are building houses. They are this, they are that. No, wait on the Lord's own words. Time. Those moments is keeping silent. There is a greater or a bigger thing he's doing what? He's preparing for you. It is meant for you to be what? To wait for it patiently. And we are told that Abraham is the father of all those who do what? Father of what? Father of faith. And it was reckoned to him as a righteous person. And he was up to that years, yet he has not seen anything. Yet he was being told that you are going to be a father of great nation. To tell us what faith can do in our lives. That a man or a woman of faith can always actualize what God wants him. No matter the years it has taken so this, this morning, it is a call. It is a wake-up call for each and every one of us. We came to adore Jesus the Savior. I don't know how your faith is, but I want you to have a renewed faith. To understand the condition or whatever that brought you here, that Jesus the Savior, who is able and who is capable of changing situations, he has done it in the past, Many miracles and many testimonies have testified that he has done it in this place. That your own will never be a different case. He started with, with our father in faith. The journey. And he was lamenting. Should I continue this way? You may be lamenting. Should I continue in this way? Or this condition that brought me here this morning. Should I continue that in that way? And God is telling you, no, you can never continue in that way. But you have to have what? Faith. And you have to walk with God patiently until your own what? Your own time. We have appointed time. You say, a thousand years in the eyes of God is like what? It's like what? A day. So do not run faster than your shadow. In God's own ripe time, in his own due moment, he will actualize that which he has prepared for you. Always understand the silence of God any time in your life so that whenever it comes up or whenever you are not hearing anything, you will still have faith that God is preparing a big thing for you. May God bless his words in our hearts through Christ our Lord.